There are quite a few two-day moorings. I think that's because most of this canal is quite shallow. So it's difficult to pull in otherwise. But I need to find out exactly why it's known to be quite shallow because there must be a reason, engineering wise, there must have been a reason they made it to a certain depth. Ah, too far over. When the mud comes up from the bottom of the canal like this, I know I'm in shallow water. In fact, in this case, I've come to a standstill. So without any crew to help me out, I've got to jump on top of my roof and whip out the old barge pole, which is essentially just an eight foot stick. But using this as a lever, I should be able to free my boat up again and I'll be on my way. But why is this canal so shallow? I had to find out. According to the Macclesfield Canal Society's website, great canal engineer Thomas Telford designed the canal as a way of saving time in construction by using this tapered design, not to scale or anything. Um, yeah, it's got a very shallow and tapered bottom, the Macclesfield, which allows commercial craft like this one to go up and down the centre quite easily. They're just mooring up at the wharves, they don't care about mooring anywhere else. Unfortunately, modern day boaters like myself find that to be the problem nowadays, and especially with lots of silt at the sides and the canal just needing regular dredging to keep it navigable. I love these and I've to talked about these before but these are snake bridges where they were created so that the horses, because all these canals are designed for use with horses, to just go over the top there and onto the other side because the towpath crosses over. And then by doing that you don't have to uncouple the line so it saves work. But I just think they're beautiful. I've moored in Congleton before and I love it. I love exploring the town. It's such a beautiful medieval market town. But this time I want to moor just around the corner here at a spot which overlooks a beautiful valley. Just got to get past this viaduct. I really love this sign, nice old sign. I don't even know if it's still accurate, whether those shops exist still, but it could certainly smell fish and chips. So that's definitely still a thing. <laughs> Actually, it turns out that only that mooring space there that, that boat's got behind me is the one with the, the actual view. <laughs> so you, you can't see anything if you're either side. It's a shame. Oh well, not to worry. I'm going to moor up here anyway and explore this beautiful valley. But the rain is on and off at the moment and it's very cold. I just don't want to get soaked through.
Oh, this is not good. <laughs> oh. That's freezing rain, that's horrible. I don't even know where my boat is at this point. <laughs> I've lost. <sighs> lost in the Biddulph Valley. Luckily, of course, I've got my phone on me filming this footage. So I had a little look at the map and found my way back to the canal. This is a cut and fill canal. So the engineers designed it, Thomas Telford designed it so he could just go straight, straight as possible. So that's why we've got embankments. We've got these straight bits where you can see almost for miles. But I do quite like it on days like this where you get to see the reflections of say bridges uh, lying ahead of us. People are always joking about Bridge 69, 69 dudes and all that. I, I don't understand. I don't, I don't really understand why they're doing that. Are they being rude? Is that, is that it? I mean, what's rude about 69? I think when you get to 69, you're probably not thinking about being rude at all. You're thinking, does my back still work? <laughs> I don't know. That's uh, very ageist. And my, certainly my parents, my Aunt Frances will be ticking me off for that. They're going to give me a call after this and they'll be saying, Robbie, what's all this? Some lovely pampas grass there. Should really be next to Bridge 69, but you know, perhaps they didn't realise. Right, well, all of a sudden I've got a water point here, so I better take advantage of that. Pull in. The weird thing is though, it's not listed on the map at all. So we're over here, bridge 68, just gone past there. It's not, it's not there at all. So yeah, it might not even work. This is a brand new map, so yeah, a bit weird. Let's have a look. Hey, it works. Just need to go like that side. Oh, how are there are a couple of ways of me actually telling whether or not I'm running out of water. One of which is outside, I can see the level of which the water line is against the, the bow and that's where the water tank is so the, the less water inside it the more the boat's going to tip up. The other way I can tell is by checking a small pipe inside the boat which allows me to view the exact level of the water that corresponds to the tank right next to it. That is again primitive but it works. <laughs> And sometimes it might take me half an hour, sometimes it might take me three quarters of an hour, 20 minutes to fill up. It depends what the pressure's like um, from the tap that I'm, that I'm filling up from, because every one it seems to be slightly different.
Anyway, it just goes to show how unreliable the maps, the guides that we have on the canals. They're not 100% accurate and the only way of really finding out if something is there is physically going there and checking it out. why there weren't any boats coming down this way. <laughs> With these locks out of action and even the towpath completely shut off, I'm just, I've got no choice but to reverse my boat now and just turn around and go a different route up north, which will be back onto the Trenton and Mercy and the Bridgewater Canal. Canals that I've done quite a number of times before. So I'm a little bit disappointed. I could have avoided this had I been here earlier, two days earlier, I would have gotten through all right. And also if I'd have made sure I've got the stoppage updates coming through to my email. Oh well, back we go. Right, well I'm turned around now and I'm heading back the way I came and that's it. Thanks for watching this vlog. Sorry it didn't have a happy ending. We can't end it like that, can we? No, come on. We've got to end it with a happy ending. Pub of the week. Come on. I'm literally right back where I started at the beginning of today. <laughs> it's exactly the same mooring on exactly the same aqueduct going over the River Dane. <sighs> I am ready for the pub. If there's one still open. Right, either side of this bridge here is a pub and we're going to pit them off against each other. Never been in either of them before, but I'm going to try the railway in first. That's on this side and then hop over to the Queen's Head. Let's go. Pub of the week competition. Excuse me. I need to get to the pub. I'm sorry. This one's got a ambulance outside. I don't know if that's a good sign or not. But I like the sign on the edge of the building. Right, how do we get in? Stay.
standard pub that really the railway in it's like its name suggests it's all about the railway there's not a canal version of that but um, there is another pub over the road that I'm going to try and hopefully it's going to be a little bit more exciting it's tough though because I'm not allowed to walk around I've got to sit down and be served that pint and just get um, whatever I can from the position that I'm in <laughs> so I've got a few shots for you of just where I was sitting but yeah there could be more to that pub than I realised but can't really explore it right now All right, let's see what the Queen's Head's got to offer now, this one has direct access from the canal below so it's winning there straight away I'm a bit disappointed in the lack of beer mats tonight. Well, there you go. Bear with me. No, 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 no. Too late now. Too late. No. Bye. See you later. Come on, bugger off. Thanks. Cheers. 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 Thank you very much. Thank you. That was a Queen's pretty good pub that because not only did they serve some interesting beer but also the locals were there i didn't expect it to be a locals pub because it seems more like a gastro pub but yeah they were all there in force and um yeah really enjoyed talking to them and just yeah savoring the atmosphere of pub of the week <laughs>